Welcome or welcome back. If you're new, I'm Alexa and my channel focuses on curly hair. So in today's video, I'm actually going to be doing a deep conditioning routine with you guys. I feel like I do not do many of those and deep conditioning is such an important part of my curly hair routines just to have like a good protein moisture balance, to get curl clumps and just to avoid frizz. So I'm also kind of going to be doing a little review in this video. I'm going to be using the Sotanicals Chabe Ginger Deep Conditioner. So this is actually my second one. I purchased this one and I loved it so much. I used it so fast, like back to back almost, that like when I was out of this one, I had to buy another one. So I'm going to be going over this deep conditioner and also this does not have any protein. So today my hair is super, super dry. It also has a lot of buildup. It feels like sticky. If you guys watched my last video, I'm actually on day three here right now. And I do think my hair needs moisture. I I haven't deep conditioned I think in a week and like four days or a little bit longer than that so my hair definitely needs a lot of moisture so to start off I'm actually going to be using the Sotanicals Got Up Strand Up Carabetic hair oil. I'm so bad at pronouncing things, but this has ingredients like amla, guava, and funnel greek, which are really amazing for hair growth. So that's why I did decide to buy this. So since my hair is super tangled, honestly, it's really dry. And after this, I am going to be going with a sulfate shampoo to wash my hair because I feel like my hair has a lot of buildup and also silicones that need to be removed. I'm going to be starting off with this oil just to do a pre-poo for 30 minutes and just kind of detangle my hair hair with my hands that way it'll be easier when I go shampoo and also deep condition with you guys so I'm just gonna apply this really really quick I'm starting off with the oil and as you guys see I'm just separating my hair usually when I do a pre-poo treatment I like separating my hair into sections it just makes it easier and it allows me to distribute the oils into more places and yeah this is how my hair looks super dry as you guys can see so now I'm taking some of the oil this oil smells so good I love the smell of it so much I also damp my hair a little bit with water it just makes everything easier and it just allows the oil to you know soak in more into my hair and I do a little finger detangling I don't detangle my hair a hundred percent I probably get it like 75% detangled with my fingers and I really love this oil I've been using it for like the past two or three months it does have Ayurvedic and Caribbean ingredients so that's super super amazing so as you guys can see that oil and when I do damp my hair a little bit with water it just got so soft so compared to how this looked earlier it looks so much better so usually depending like how much time and energy i have i decide to do like big sections or little sections when pre-pooing today i'm kind of gonna do like these big sections just for the sake of time let's chat about some of the ingredients in this product so it does have sesame oil and this does help your scalp if it gets dry flaky or itchy i do use this on my scalp sometimes it also has funnel greek and this just helps to stimulate the blood flow on your scalp and it also nourishes your hair follicles and apparently it does promote healthier hair growth this is something i'm still testing out and this is also an ingredient that i do want to implement into more of my hair care products it also has guava and this is anti-inflammatory and it does have antioxidant properties to just give your scalp all that health that it needs and it has amla i think i'm pronouncing that right i hope i am but this contains stimulating essential fatty acids that penetrate into the follicles making the hair softer shinier and voluminous so i am reading this from the sultanicals website if you guys do want to check this out so i'm all done applying the oil as a pre-poo to my hair as y'all can tell i look crazy but this is real life sometimes i just grab whatever i see to tie my hair so i'm actually just gonna take some more oil and i'm just going to put some 
up here because my roots they never get oily i have like the driest scalp in the whole world so i'm just trying to add a little bit of oil there I'm going to leave this pre-poo in my hair for 30 to 40 minutes and then I'm going to hop in the shower, wash this out. Today I'm actually going to be using a sulfate shampoo because I think my hair needs a really good cleanse. I feel like a lot of product needs to be removed from previous wash days and I'm going to be using the Bumble and Bumble BB Sunday shampoo. This is actually my favorite sulfate shampoo right now. As you guys can see I've used this a lot of times and I really like this because I find that it's not too stripping to my hair. It kind of leaves my hair moisturized but also really really clean at the same time and then when I do use this I notice that any deep conditioner I use, it just soaks in better into my hair and my hair just looks better at that end. So I'll be back once my hair is washed and we'll apply the deep conditioner together. So I came out of the shower and I did apply some of my Giovanni conditioner in the shower. That way my hair won't be as tangled. So I did detangle it a little bit in the shower. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the Sultanicals Chubby Ginger super deep conditioner and it says with chubby ginger and stimulating herbs and they do recommend to leave this in your hair for at least 30 minutes and also to apply heat so that's what i usually do and i use this heat cap that i got on amazon i just plug this into an outlet it does have two settings it has low and high i usually do put this on high and it just allows the deep conditioner to like sink in more into my hair and my hair does feel nicer after and also since my hair is low porosity it does benefit from me applying heat to a deep conditioner so now let's get started and let's apply this deep conditioner to my hair when i do deep condition i always suction my hair that way all of my strands can get all of the goodness from the deep conditioner so here's the sotanicals chubby ginger deep conditioner this is the consistency when i first got this i thought it was a little bit soft and not thick so i was like oh my gosh this isn't gonna really work on my hair it's not gonna get moisturized but as you guys see when i start applying this to my hair my hair turns into a literal dream it's so soft it feels so nice i've also used this to detangle my hair when it's super knotted and it just glides through my hair this is one of my top deep conditioners right now it's so good has amazing slip and this also does have ingredients like funnel greek it has amla powder it has black castor oil amazing ingredients that people say work really well for hair growth so i'll definitely report back to you once i do have a little bit more experience with ingredients like this and as you guys see i take my easy detangler brush i brush that through and i'm just twirling my hair like this almost like finger coiling i just feel like this does enhance my curl definition later on when I do style. I know everyone is always curious about the smells and hair care products. I'm always like curious about how products smell. So to me, this does smell like cinnamon. It does remind me of fall and it just smells really natural and it just has a really strong cinnamon smell so if you do like sweet smells like that then i do think this will be a really great product for you i definitely think this product is worth the money i believe let's see i did pay 16 dollars for this and things on the sotanicals website they're always sold out it's always so hard but yeah, I think it's worth the price. It did last me about four through five uses. I'm done putting the deep conditioner all over my hair as you guys can see my curls already look super juicy i love this deep conditioner so so much so now i'm going to be putting the heat cap on my hair i'm gonna go sit in my room for 30 minutes and then i'm gonna come show y'all how my hair looks after so let me just show you how i put this on so i literally just take this i put it over my head so I just put this over my head, I tuck my hair in there and I do clean this every time I do use it just to make sure there's no deep conditioner residue stuck to it. I know that you do have the option of putting a plastic cap underneath and then you can put this heat cap on top. I haven't tried that so I don't know if it like works any better but I am planning to buy some 
shower caps those clear ones really soon it has this like little elastic thing here that way you can put this up and it can secure onto your head and it doesn't come off so i just put that in and i'm just gonna set it to high and i'm gonna go plug it in so i'll be back I finally rinsed out the deep conditioner from my hair so as you guys can see my hair is super moisturized it feels so nice and soft and hydrated and it doesn't feel like dry or anything like that anymore so that's why I really do love this deep conditioner I also love how it pH balances your hair and I think that's so important and it also is really good for hair growth and that's one of the things that I am focusing right now especially when I do decide to buy deep conditioners and things like that so yeah i am actually going to go and style my hair but i'm going to leave that for the next video that i will be posting tomorrow it's going to be a whole junk store curly hair routine so thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed my deep conditioning routine if you did like this video don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and if you made it to the end comment down below your favorite deep conditioner or a deep conditioner that you want to try because because I'm always looking for new things to buy. So thank you so much for watching. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll see you tomorrow.